Uh, good afternoon, folks. How are you? All right. I, I uh, apologize for the small, just a little bit of delay here. Um, certainly, I'll, I'll blame it on my dentist, but uh, at least I'm able to smile at you. So that's, uh, you know, I'm not sure I can actually feel what's going on, but I can, <laughs> I can smile at you. Uh, so I'm, I'm uh, just thrilled to be here. This is actually a culmination of uh, a lot of work. And so welcome to Stewart Town Homes. Um, really, really appreciate you joining us here today. Uh, my name is Stacy Spann, and I'm the Executive Director of the Housing Opportunities Commission of Montgomery County. And I am just thrilled to talk to you today about the launch of HOC Connects. Um, and this is, from a, from a housing authority perspective, from really a, a community perspective, this is a nationally unprecedented program. And it, um, just like every single thing we do every day, we're trying to transform the lives of folks in our community. Uh, and so today's launch of, of, of this uh, pilot program, um, it would not have happened without the hard work and partnership of uh, a number of folks. And so um, there are far too many HOC employees to name personally. Um, uh, I will thank them by giving them some more to do. <laughs> that's that's kind of how we do it. So, so thank you. Uh, Tomorrow is Thursday, and we got some more stuff to do. So, um, and then our our partners at uh, CDW and Acer uh, have been just fantastic. Um, it, it's not often that um, a housing authority will will take on a national partner, and uh, the folks at CDW and 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 Acer have have welcomed us with uh, open arms, and and frankly, they may be a little more enthusiastic about it than 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 we are. Um, so. Uh, everyone's worked relentlessly, every division of our agency. Um, hours um, have included weekends and, and uh, evenings. Um, I, I always thought that's what we were supposed to do anyway. Um, so I'll thank them again. Uh, and, and just a, a little bit about the Housing Opportunities Commission. Uh, every single day we're serving thousands of, of families in Montgomery County. And many of these folks just simply are, they're working as hard as they possibly can, but they just don't have the financial wherewithal to purchase something as simple as a computer, right? I mean, that's actually pretty simple. And, and for most of us, it's become like any appliance in our home, like a dishwasher, like a, a stove. I mean, this is how we um, transact business. This is how we interact with the, the world. And, um, this really is a special opportunity for us to connect folks uh, broadly uh, who we serve with the world, with the rest of the community. Um, and so we're just, we're just, just tickled. I mean, I, I can't even, I'm gonna come up with a couple more adjectives, right? Uh, I am so excited that, uh, that you know, we have the privilege and honor of, of actually being able to push through um, what have been digital divide uh, issues for some time and, um, you know, it's interesting that the council president um, um, has has challenged me to turn that on its ear and you know refocus it. And so, you know, we're we're not going to talk about digital divide. We're talking about digital equity. And this this county has done a tremendous job connecting the broader community. And so we're happy to take up the baton and uh, and work uh, diligently on these digital equity issues just as we are every other issue around uh, the, the equity of a home, the equity of, of being a part of a community. Um, and so we're, you know, HOC is, has uh, used our purchasing resources, our relationships to, to provide qualified um, clients with interest-free payment plans, and they're purchasing the laptop. They, we don't, we're not gonna own it for them. Um, there's no trade. Literally, folks are purchasing it and uh, it's, it's robust. I mean, this is, this is you know, the laptop that we've purchased and we're working to, we're working to uh, with, a with Acer in particular, on an HOC branded, actually, laptop. Uh, and so we're, we're, I mean, <laughs> I can't even tell you how excited we are about that. <laughs> so our mission, you know, our mission is simple, right? Our job is to connect people responsibly to uh, high quality housing. That's, Right? It's simply stated. Right? You know it's not easy to do it every day. And as part of that, um, you know, we're not talking about distant way stations. We're not talking about putting folks on islands. 
We're talking about taking care of the folks right here in our community, and in, in Montgomery County, our Montgomery County. Uh, and um, you know, I can't think of a, a cause more uh, worthy. And, and the fact is that housing intersects every single industry. I mean, it is where everything emanates from, right? So you you don't have anywhere to go home to. You're certainly not getting up and going somewhere, right? You don't have anywhere to go home to. You can't connect to anyone. Uh, and so this is just part and parcel of what we're doing. And so uh, a recent um, uh, report from the Office of Legislative Oversight uh, highlighted that schools with concentrations of poverty, and this isn't news, um, are facing an achievement gap in Montgomery County, right? Now, if that's happening in Montgomery County, that's happening in the world, right, in our world. Uh, and so HOC Connects is just one more step and closing in on that gap and, and just leveling the playing field. And the bottom line is we can't have too many tools. There's no such thing as too many fixes on this one. Um, there's no competition. It's, it's all about trying to serve people well. So we have a number of speakers today. And uh, I want to I wanna firstly begin with our chair uh, of the Housing Opportunities Commission, uh, Commissioner Roberto Pinheiro. Just let him say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Roberto Pinero. I'm the chair of uh, HOC. And uh, of course, uh, I mean, you saw Stacy's enthusiasm, energy. Uh, I represent the commission, which is the, the, the board that oversees um, uh, the, uh, the work of the Housing Opportunities Commission. And I have one of my commissioners here, Jackie Simon, that's present. Uh, we were. Also, we felt that same energy when Stacy came up with the idea, let's connect our communities. Let's bridge the digital divide. And that's what this is all about. It's not just providing an instrument, a tool to, uh, to our residents, but it, this tool is going to empower them. It's going to, with training, they'll be able to uh, create a listserv if they want. I have a listserv in my community, and we find out about what's going on you know, from, from other neighbors. They can search for jobs. Their children can get, a, hopefully get a, uh, a better education. They will uh, with training. So we're, we're really, really excited. So thank you, Stacy, and thank all of the uh, employees of HOC for joining us today. I'm going to be very brief, because they told me I have about 90 seconds. <laughs> so <laughs> in particular, I would like to thank our elected officials, Craig, Nancy, uh, Suzanne's representing Chris Van Hollen, Marvin from CDW, um, for their support of HOC Connects and the affordable housing initiatives in general. Um, they, they've all come here to celebrate this launch with us. Uh, also with us is, of course, Marvin Turner, the director of the HOT field office, and uh, Kevin Kuekel, Kuko, there we go, and Rhonda Morrison, a parent and a Stewart Town resident who are excited to participate. Thank you all for joining us for this celebration. Again, we're thrilled. This pilot program is just the beginning. Uh, we're going to be evaluating it, seeing how it's working, and then we're going to take it to all of our residents. Um, so. Uh, like Stacy said, by leveraging the purchasing resources of the agencies, we're going to be able to provide this type of laptop. There'll be, we're, I think we're all hardwired in this community, which is great. And uh, they'll be able, you know, they, they'll make monthly payments about $20 a month, so it's not a, a huge expense. Um, they will allow clients to own a computer and have around-the-clock access to robust laptops. Um, it would also, we, we're hoping that with this, again, they can do some financial planning and hopefully improve their credit rating with, again, this, this is to our interest, timely payment of the rent to HOC. <laughs> so uh, HOC Connects will help address the achievement gap. And ultimately, HOC Connects is a, about the belief that every student should have access to the tools that will level the economic playing field for them. Uh, like I said, this, we, this is all about uh, bridging that uh, digital divide and uh, providing opportunities and empowering people so that we hope they become our partners in promoting more affordable housing in Montgomery County. Um, thank you very much.
Go ahead. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you, Commissioner. So uh, our next speaker is a leader who served our, our community in Annapolis and, and now in Rockville. Uh, I know him personally, and I'm, I'm, I'm honored to know him personally. Uh, he is a, a man who cares deeply about the needs of his constituents in the broader community. Please welcome President of the County Council, Craig Rice. So let me uh, first just thank uh, Stacy Spann. Uh, as well as all of the members of HOC, but um, it always requires a person with vision uh, to take an organization to the next step. And Stacy, when you and I sat down when you first took uh, this office, um, I knew from the very beginning uh, that there were some great things that would be coming from you, and this is just a shining example of what I think is much more to come. Um, because you really believe in something that I believe, that this entire county council believes, that many of us believe, and that is the power of opportunity. And opportunity means so many different things to so many people, but at the core, what it means is it gives you the ability to believe in yourself and believe that there are no limits to what it is that you can do or accomplish. And I hate to try and tie something like that that's so important and so big to a laptop, but the reality is, is that all of it matters and it's all connected. Because this laptop gives a person the opportunity to make sure that their children can get a better education. It makes sure that it gives a person that wants to research about a job. It's not just about going through the white pages and looking for the job opportunities, but it's researching that job, finding out what the skill sets that are necessary for that job are. Well, it's kind of difficult to do that in a newspaper. A laptop and being and having access to the web matters when it comes to those kinds of things. It's opportunity when it's that a child who says, hey, you know, I want to be able to send a message to one of my friends doesn't feel isolated, that they can't be a part and are therefore socially disconnected. So in fact, it does represent opportunity for us. It's something that many of us take so much for granted when it comes to access to technology, but matters so much to something that also is equally important, which is our achievement gap. We have worked so hard and tirelessly along with MCPS and many community stakeholders, nonprofits, to figure out ways in which we can try and address this problem. You're doing your part, and we appreciate that. And the public-private partnership that happens with companies that understand are gonna make a difference are going to make a difference when it comes to families that are here and families that are in HOC. I think the overall message should be that HOC is not what people thought it used to be. Let's just be real. People always thought of HOC as a place that's run down, where you might be a victim to crime or drugs, and you know it was dilapidated, and that's not what I see. We're putting forth a new message. We're putting forth a message that people, regardless of your socioeconomic status, matter, and that you should not expect anything but the best. We want to deliver that. We want to make sure that we deliver that to every single one of our residents, regardless of their background or their means. And we want to try and deliver that. And I know that's what you touched on. That's what you believe in. That's why many of you work for HOC. That's what all of us believe in. So let's continue to work together to make it happen. Thank you. Wow, thank you very much. Um, so it's, it's my pleasure to introduce someone who's been a valued partner to HOC and someone who's advocated tirelessly on behalf of affordable housing uh, and the services that HOC provides to our community, our county executive, Isaiah Leggett. Thank you and uh, good afternoon. Um, we've had a great deal of discussion over the last few years, and probably going back time before that, about the challenges that we face in the county with the growing disparity in achievement. Uh, I believe for a long period of time that this really is a two-pronged process. One, what do we do in the classroom, in the school, during the hours of 7 to 4, and also what do we do after class and how we prepare our students 
for the rigorous academic challenges that they face. Clearly, in the classroom, we want to make certain we have lower student-teacher ratio. We want to make certain that our buildings and our teachers and others are providing the resources that are necessary. But this is between the hours of 7 to 4. The challenge is what happens after that period of time. Well, clearly, we have the libraries that provide some level of support. And we have some opportunities that people find in our recreational component as well. But a good part of that learning process really happens at home, the informal time that students need in order to learn. And this is where the problem is, that there are far too many students who do not have access to technology, the internet, the tablets, and all the things they need in order to continue that learning process. It is an ongoing process. And far too often, uh, they simply cannot be connected to any and all of that. Uh, this program, Mr. Spann, and what we are looking at today is an opportunity to close that gap, uh, the financial and technology gap, more importantly, the achievement gap. That's something that we can do something about. Uh, and this program helps. Uh, the challenges that we face today, I think, can be eliminated. Uh, but it will require us to continue to meet that goal and objective. The $250,000 is a pilot, but the real challenge is to reach all of those students that are not reached with this program today, and we need to do that. So I want to congratulate you for the efforts that are being made today, the challenge us to come up with more innovative and creative ways to reach those other students who do not have that access to technology, and that, that will help us. Uh, to achieve uh, what I think we all want. Um, there is a direct correlation. If you look at the performance of our students, our farm rates in our school system, poverty within our school system, and the achievements of our students competitively. It's a direct connection. And part of that connection is the fact that they do not have access to technology. Um, I am fortunate today to look at my grandchild, a five-year-old kid who at three and a half and four had that access. And she's now trying to tell me uh, how to use the computer and what I need to do. And she's able to do a wonderful array of things that I think have been available to her. And it helps in that learning process. But there are too many students that don't have that. They don't have that at home. Now, we believe very clearly that technology plays an important role in it. But without the support of organizations such as HOC, our state and the federal government helping this type of process, uh, we can't get there. So congratulations. Thank you for this effort. Uh, let's try to build from this model and expand the opportunities to many others who are not fortunate to have the access to technology that so many others have today. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, County Executive Leggett. Our, uh, our next speaker, speaker has a well-established passion for education and uh, also for closing the achievement gap in low-income households. Before joining the County Council in 2009, she was a member of the Montgomery County Board uh, of Education, serving two consecutive terms as board president. Council Member Nancy Navarro. Well, this is really a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, actually, I, um, when I joined the council, I also became the chair of the Government Operations um, uh, and Fiscal Policy Committee. And uh, in that particular committee, we oversee technology. And we had had so many conversations about what could happen, but you know, we're in the middle of a recession. And so a lot of the conversations had to do with hopes and dreams and plans and things that we wanted to achieve. So for me to be here today really gives that direct experience, you know, the direct connection between the policy making, the desires, the plans, uh, and, and reality. And so it's really exciting to be here. And I, and I have to commend Mr. Spann. I have to commend the chair of HOC, Mr. Pinedo. Um, I have to commend the HOC commissioners and staff. Um, but also, you know, the executive, our county council, our federal partners, our private partners. It takes all of that, all of that type of collaboration to finally launch a project like this that I have no doubt 
will continue to expand. And you know, a lot of times we hear about this concept that I learned when I was on the Board of Education of technology, immigrants and technology natives. And I'm a technology immigrant. When I explained to my daughters that when I was in college we didn't have the internet, they have no clue what that means. <laughs> you know, I was speaking to a, a, a classroom of third graders and I told them to close their eyes and imagine a world without the internet and they all started to scream in horror. <laughs> oh, it's just not, not possible. And so, although I remember when a laptop was such a luxury, right, it was just something really cool to have, now it's an absolute necessity. It is the door to this world, this virtual world, that really does, in many ways, run our lives, whether that's good or bad. But the truth is that if it's used properly, it just provides all that access. So to finally be here to celebrate and to talk about this pilot uh, gives me hope that we are finally uh, finding that direct way to make this happen for so many low-income families who had not had the access before. It is about the achievement gap. It's about the economic gap. It's about so many things empowering, empowering families to have access to knowledge that then leads to access to wealth creation, to ending poverty, to ending so many things. So yeah, it is amazing that, uh, you know, something like this, so portable, can really open doors for so many things, but it certainly does. And here in Montgomery County, as usual, we're proud to lead the way, and we will continue to work with you and all the partners uh, to expand this project um, for the years to come. So thank you and congratulations. All right, thank you so much, Council Member. Congressman Chris Van Hollen had hoped to be here today, but uh, had several important votes on the Hill and couldn't join us. Uh, representing uh, the Congressman is, is Suzanne L Lufhelm. So, Suzanne, thank you. Good to see you. So it's a pleasure to be here today on behalf of Congressman Chris Van Hollen as the Housing Opportunities Commission launches this very exciting new pilot program. We all know that affordable housing is critical to providing a secure and stable base from which families can work, save, and reach economic security. Technology and internet connectivity are increasingly essential to meeting those aspirations. With this new purchasing program for low-cost laptops and free internet access, residents will have the opportunity to advance their education, pay bills and apply for jobs online, and connect to their community. Innovative programs like this one put residents on the path to full self-sufficiency and strengthen our community. Thanks to HOC and its partners for launching this very exciting new pilot program. Congressman Van Hollen looks forward to continuing to work with you and to improve access to opportunities for all Montgomery County residents and families. Thank you. All right, so much of what we do simply would not be possible without the support of our partnership and our colleagues at uh, the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. We, uh, we have many interesting conversations. Um, joining us today is the director of the Washington, D.C. field office, Marvin Turner. Uh, first, of all, first of all, let me just uh, uh, thank Stacy for inviting me out to such an occasion and thank the elected officials as well. I don't know if this thing is on or not, but we'll make it work. I um, also want to thank Stacy for not just inviting me and the HOC uh, staff for doing the excellent work that they do all year, but for coining a new phrase, phrase digital equity. I mean, when you think of, the, of that, I think you go beyond a digital divide, a digital bridge. You talk about something that actually, from, from, from a perspective of myself, turns Maslow's hierarchy of needs on its head and, and builds into a new type of, uh, of future. And without that sort of leadership that exists in Stacy and Stacy and I, do we have some interesting conversations? <laughs> <laughs> but they always end up with me, me being enlightened and with me looking, uh, looking very much forward. His leadership is not about achieving excellence necessarily, because excellence as far as public housing authorities go around this country is what HOC is. His leadership is about creating change and creating a climate for change and creating a climate where 
his associates, not just at HOC, but those of us within the federal government that he has to drag into the 21st century sometimes <laughs> are, able, are able to do. You know, several years ago, HUD created a uh, strategic plan to go out for a few more years. And in that plan, it talked about using housing as a platform uh, for the quality, to improve the quality of life. Yes, we're HUD. We believe in housing first. But we believe in also, with that housing, you have to have a quality of life and a quality of living. And I think with this new, this new idea, this new computer, or this new pilot system, we've created it, uh, not we, you guys, not just Stacy and his team, but you guys out here, and I hope to be one of you, um, but I don't want to take credit uh, necessarily today. I will on my report. I've <laughs> 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 created a quality of, quality of living that will continue to exceed what, what, what expect, expectations are to, for, for those of us who work in, uh, in affordable housing area. And I also want to uh, thank Stacy. He didn't say that HOC was creating affordable housing. If you listen to him, he said a high standard of quality housing. And I think there is a difference there. So I caught it, Stacy. Thank you. So uh, I mentioned earlier that our vendor partners have worked uh, very hard on this program. Um, and so we had conceptual discussions some time ago uh, with our staffs, and we've had uh, uh, spirited discussions on pricing. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> Acer and CDW have been uh, responsive yeah, in helping us to define the solutions uh, that we've all talked about, uh, the solutions that really support you know, the backbone of HOC Connects. Uh, unfortunately, um, the Acer team was, was unable to join us today. They're flying all around the world trying to save the world by computing. Uh, but um, we have uh, um, uh, Kevin Kukel uh, from CDW here to say a few words and um, I'd like to ask him to come up. Come on up, Kevin. Hey folks, uh, thanks for the intro and thank you for having us, Stacy. It's been great working with you and your team. Um, so I'm Kevin Kuchel, uh, State and Local Manager with CDWG. Um, we've had the pleasure of working with HOC for some time now uh, around this project and we are very excited, we pointed that out earlier, uh, about the opportunities this program will bring to the local residents. Uh, as a national IT solutions provider, uh, CDW is, uh, we work with state and local governments across the country to choose the technology, services, and expertise that meet the unique requirements of government agencies. To support HOC Connect, we partnered with Acer to provide the laptops to HOC residents. Uh, residents can purchase the laptops at a reduced cost through uh, select lending partners. Uh, we're working with HOC to support a comprehensive technology solution uh, this includes financing, imaging, software, networking, and security components, bringing together the industry's best practices to ensure residents access the laptops secure and reliable. Technology is so central to so many aspects of our lives, and many of us can take that for granted. Uh, and those that don't have access, it can create a significant disadvantage. HOC connects helps residents get that critical access to a laptop, to computers, to the internet, uh, that will have a major impact on their lives. Once again, thank you for having us, uh, and be available if you have any questions later. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin, really. Um, it's been great, and I'm looking forward to talking more about pricing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so last but, but certainly not, not uh, least, I want to be clear on that, uh, is, is Rhonda Morrison. And Rhonda happens to be a resident at Stewart Town, um, but she is a parent and a prospective participant in HOC Connects. And so we w wanted to invite her up to make uh, a few comments. Come on, welcome, Rhonda. First of all, I'd like to say congratulations 
on this new program. I'm truly thrilled and excited to be here. It's an honor and a pleasure to be a recipient of the program. And um, just wanted to share with you all what it means to me as a parent, what it means to my son, and what it means to our household. So as a parent, my job is to support my son and to be able to, to provide him with opportunities to be able to exceed. And I find that in this modern technology society that we live in, in order for me to do so, he needs to have access to a computer 24-7. This is his last year in middle school, and it's very <laughs> difficult to be able to have him do research, work on projects at home. We're hindered in a lot of ways. And as a parent, you feel bad because you want your children to have the best. So in order to do so, I'm, I'm just so thankful to now be able to have access to a laptop. And my son repeatedly tells me, Mom, we need to get a computer. I was like, I know, son, I'm working on it. <laughs> so with the program, it, it, it's affordable. And um, this is one way that I find that I can establish credit and also it helps us to achieve our higher education goals. And I can now do research. He can do research. He can work on projects. I can now check email <laughs> any time of the day that I would like to. And um, I don't take this program for granted. I, like I said, it's a privilege and an honor to be here and um, to actually have people in the world to think enough of us and to think highly enough of us to want to give back to us in the community. So it's just, I'm almost at a loss for words because it's such a great gift. And um, it's just a little overwhelming to be on the receiving end of such a wonderful program. And I want to say thank you so very much for all your efforts. Thank you. Um, so, uh, Rhonda, we're going to see you at the orientation session. Yes. All right. Your son maybe can come and, and be a part of our virtual help desk, actually. Probably knows more than I do about this. So, naturally, some of our speakers had to duck out to attend other business, but um, those who remain will be available for interviews. And, and for those of you who do not have a press kit uh, there in the back, um, Scott Ellenwood can also be helpful if you have questions. We really appreciate all of your support. Um, this is a clarion call to do more, to connect more, to serve more, and to continuously raise the bar. So thank you so much.